What's good everyone? It's your boy, your dig, four eyes, two J's here, and today we're here to talk about 6 9 Now I know a lot of you guys probably saw the title and are thinking, you dig, you're crazy. Didn't he just get predicted to do 150k or something? Well, that was the early predictions based on early data. Now the new predictions have come out and apparently 6 9s Tattletales is planned to do 40 to 50k first week. Yes, 40 to 50k first week, which is a massive flop. I want to break it down. Let's go. I don't know. She said that she loved me, I do not believe her She gets really sad, she gets really mad She don't know what love is, I don't know either I don't really want her, I don't really need her She said that she loved me, I do not believe her She gets really sad, she gets really mad Okay, first of all, let's just begin with some context. So, as you guys can see right here, it came out that a couple days ago, apparently 6 ix Tattle Tales was aiming for a number one debut within the US, doing 150k first week based on early predictions. And when this came out, everybody was like, whoa, 6 ix took a huge W, can't believe it. He did massive numbers, he's gonna outdo Sean, etc, etc. And even myself, I had to give it to him. If he came out and did 150k first week, that would be a huge, huge W. The issue though comes with the fact that this prediction was done so early and was based on such early data so it can get kind of misconstrued and then the numbers and the predictions can kind of align later on in the week which is what we saw just happen today which as you can see right here new releases now with extra caveats update and 6 ix predictions have now been updated to 40 to 50k first week with 11 to 15k purchases now there is no question about it this is 100% a huge flop and I want to break down some of the things we're seeing on the streaming services which show that basically no one is actually streaming 6 ix music right now now, as you can see right here, this was actually on the 6th of September, but there was only one song on the Spotify Top 200 chart from 6 9 which was Gooba at 179. Plus, when we move on to the US Apple Music chart that's accurate as of right now, the first time 6 9 appears on that list is at 143 with him and Akon's song locked up. Then over on iTunes, it's the exact same thing. The first time he appears is at 245. So yeah, it's pretty clear that in terms of the actual physical sales and kind of the digital downloads and stuff, he isn't doing too well. And then when you look at the streaming services, nobody's actually streaming his music in any major way, shape, or form. Now, on top of this, what makes these numbers even worse is the fact that Dummy Boy, which of course is the last album of his, did 66k first week, but hold on, did 66k first week and only three days of sales. As you can see right here, opening behind Travis Scott's Astro World on three days of sales, having been released on November 27th, which you can see right here is a Tuesday. So that means with Dummy Boy, with only three days of sales, 69 did 66k first week which is really really strong off of only three days and probably means he would have pushed nearly 100k I'd say over that full seven day period now instead with Tattle Tales, he's predicted to only do 40 to 50k with the full seven day period which really needs no explanation this is a huge flop now the next point to touch on is this video right here from 69 that he uploaded on his Instagram a couple days ago where he kind of alleges that the streaming services are kind of trying to blackball him and are not really giving him the proper promotion he deserves Give it a watch and then I'm gonna give my thoughts on this afterwards. Yo, so what's up everybody? I'm I woke up in a bad mood. I'm gonna keep it all the way above. I'm supposed to be in a good mood, but I'm in a bad mood. Album just dropped yesterday. I'm looking at all these DSPs. DSPs is Apple Music, Spotify. Yo, they it's they completely shutting us out like if we didn't drop an album. This is on every phone and I thought I'm bugging, right? This is the main page. And shout out to these artists. This don't really got nothing to do with y'all. This is this is the platform. New this is new music. Let me see it on your phone. It's the same shit. I am. So they act like go to new music. What is this? Spotify? Spotify this is Apple? Apple Music. This is Spotify? Yeah. We not on there? We not nope. on any of it. So they act like we didn't drop not a no single album. thing. Zero. All I'm saying is y'all already took radio away from us. If y'all gonna cheat us, just give us a fair fight. And this is a point that 6 9 has honed in on a lot since he came back. I'm sure you guys remember him coming out and saying, you can't stop me, you can't blackball me when Trolls hit number one not too long ago. Oh, Y'all try to blackball me on radio. Uh -huh. Y'all try to blackball me on radio. Uh -huh. Apple Music, uh -huh. Spotify didn't give us no playlisting. I can't be stopped. I can't be stopped. Number one, we beat the industry. 
下床吧！啊！给你打！我给你装吧。Now, undoubtedly, there's clearly some industry forces that are going against Six Nine right now. And as you can see from that video right there, it's pretty clear that the streaming services are very involved in this. And it's not just a label thing. Plus, on top of that, Six Nine's music isn't really getting playlisted like that right now. Which, of course, you guys would know, playlisting is how a lot of songs kind of become hits and how a lot of people discover music nowadays. Now. To be fair, although there is a huge angle of 6ix9ine quote unquote getting blackballed, which is why these numbers haven't been amazing, let's be completely honest, 6ix9ine has an Instagram of 24.4 million, this has 5 million views alone. Although sure, the fact that he's not getting playlisted and the fact that he's kind of getting shelved on the streaming services means that his music isn't getting the proper promotion and definitely hurts his sales, for him to come out and only be doing 40 to 50k, again, considering he has this huge social media reach, is definitely a flop regardless and kind of shows that the music he's releasing isn't really connecting with people, people aren't really gravitating towards, and people don't really want to share around or play. Now, again, I want to say, of course, there's an angle of him being blackballed, but again, with someone who goes viral so easily like 6 9 and has a huge social media reach like he does, he should definitely be doing more than 40 to 50k regardless. Plus, on top of this, let's just call a spade a spade and be honest, Title Tales as an album is not that good. I said it in my video, it's mid at best. The songs on there compared to 6 9s older music just aren't as captivating, they don't have nearly as much replay value, and they just simply aren't as good. So I think there is a huge element to the album not being very good that's impacted these sales as well. Because people would actually be returning to the music and bumping the music consistently, but from the things that I've read online, pretty much people kind of agree with my general sentiment and that the album isn't that good and it's kind of mid and it's just not worth the return to. But yeah, definitely an interesting situation. I'm gonna wait until we get the full numbers and then I'll do a proper breakdown, but right now it's looking pretty likely that 6 9 is about to have a huge flop with this album and I'm really interested to see if A, DJ Academics posts about this, how he posts about this, if he's going to try to explain this or B, if 6 ix 9 is going to post about this, how he's going to explain this etc etc and I wonder if he does address his sales what type of response is it going to be. We know in the past he's tried to quote unquote expose the industry so maybe he could do that again but yeah definitely not looking good for 6 ix 9 regardless right now. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Did you expect the sales to be higher? Do you think these are a flop? Let me know. Also before we finish this video I want to give a couple a quick shout outs from the Instagram. Big shout out to buddy.patridge and also nocap26 for following me over on my IG. Much appreciated you too. If you guys don't follow your boy man at your dick, go follow your boy. Show me some love over there. You guys know what to do. Also a reminder about the merch pieces we have available on my big cartel. You can see them on screen right now. If you're interested in copying one, link will be in the description. Plus, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications, all that good YouTube stuff. It's much appreciated. And there are more videos of mine on screen right now. Make sure to check them out if you haven't.